Mike Gabes was first elected as Labour and Cooperative Member of Parliament for Ilford South in April 1992. He was re-elected in 1997, 2001, 2005 and 2010. He also contested Ilford North for Labour at the 1983 general election. Mike served as Chairman of the House of Commons Foreign Affairs Select Committee from July 2005 to April 2010. He had previously served as a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee from 1992 to 1997 and the Defence Committee from 1999 to 2001 and 2003 to 2005. Before his election to Parliament, Mike Gapes worked at Labour Party headquarters for 15 years, including serving from 1988 to 1992 as International Secretary of the Labour Party and prior to that as a Policy Research Officer and as the National Student Organiser of the Labour Party. Mike has also worked in the National Health Service, in adult education and as a Voluntary Service Overseas Teacher in Swaziland, Southern Africa. Mike Gapes was born in Wanstead Hospital in 1952. He was educated at Staples Road Infant School, Loughton, Manford Primary School, Hainold, Beckers Hill County High School, Fitzwilliam College, Cambridge University and Middlesex Polytechnic. A fanatical supporter of West Ham United, Mike is a season ticket holder in the Bobby Moore stand at Upton Park. To the show up to the Shabaki Shagoto Janati, I'm the NTV exclusive Unustane. Ask you Unustane and Ramuntun Janiati, Ilfoot South Air, Labour Dulio Shangshu Shodosh, MP, Mike Capes. I'm Rata Shanke Kotabulbo, our political career near campaign strategy near Bong Shamuki Pabe, National J Shugulo Rese, Shabi Shaguluni Amra Kotabolojun, Taki Amuntun Janiati. Mike, welcome to the show. Um, first of all, I'm keen to know about your. Um, campaign focus in the next uh, five weeks? Well, first of all, um, I have a record. I've been the Member of Parliament for Ilford South mm -hmm. for 23 years, since 1992. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a slogan where I say I, I'm a local man mm -hmm. with a national and international voice. Right. And I want to uh, emphasise my record, the work I've done for the constituency, the issues that I campaigned on and am campaigning on. Um, and I hope we'll continue to be able to campaign on. Why would uh, people vote for Labour this time? Uh, firstly, because uh, we have had a very hard time as a country mm -hmm. uh, with this coalition government. Um, most people are £1,600 uh, a year worse off. Uh, for most people, mm -hmm. for, for the majority of a population, mm -hmm. for the hard-working families, uh, they have actually not seen an improvement. Right. Uh, the, the Prime Minister and the government claim mm -hmm. that there is a, uh, a recovery and that the, mm -hmm. the economy is doing well. Well, for most people, they haven't noticed it. The very wealthy, the, the multimillionaires, the hedge funds, the people at the top, may have had tax cuts or have done better, mm -hmm. but for the vast majority of people, it's hard. Right, okay. So, uh, what will be the campaign focus for the Labour Party nationally? Well, the national, national campaign has got five pledges. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important of those is to have a, an economy uh, which serves the interests of, of all. Uh, secondly, uh, investment uh, in our national health service. Uh, thirdly, we want to make sure that uh, uh, the, the current younger generation mm -hmm. can benefit uh, uh, from the recovery and uh, that, that, that they should not be worse off than mm -hmm. their parents. And at the moment, uh, young people in particular with the very high uh, tuition fees uh, and also the uh, fact that many young people are not able to get long-term permanent jobs, right. many of them are zero-hour contracts, mm -hmm. we need to make sure that the quality of life, the quality of work is improved for people. Right. Um, we'll be talking about the policy issues later on, but before mm -hmm. that, let me just uh, talk about your constituency and your mm -hmm. uh, political career. First of all, you've got a very vibrant uh, uh, multicultural community right. within Redbridge area. How do you feel being uh, a people's representative in the parliament? I'm privileged. I'm very fortunate. 
I represent uh, a, a young, a dynamic, a vibrant, mm -hmm. a diverse area, as you've said. Um, Ilford has always been a community uh, of immigrants. Mm -hmm. 120 years ago, there were only 4,000 people living in Ilford. Mm -hmm. And then the railway came, and with the railway came the Irish workers mm -hmm. who came to build the railway. And then we had Jewish people who were fleeing from Russia and then from Nazi Germany who came to Redbridge. After World War II, we had people coming from the Caribbean. And then we've had people fr who were kicked out of East Africa from Uganda mm -hmm. and Kenya uh, by Idi Amin, and they came and lived. And then people from India, Pakistan, and then more recently recently people from Kosovo, from this war in Somalia, and uh, people from Nigeria and elsewhere in Africa came. And then, more recently, we've got Poles and Lithuanians. So mm -hmm. we have always been this kind of community with different faiths, you know, Gurdwaras, mosques, uh, Hindu temples, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Seventh-day Adventist church, mm -hmm. um, Buddhists, all various for forms of Christianity, Jewish people. There is a whole mix in so Redbridge. have got a number of Bangladeshi people as well, right? Yes, growing numbers. Lots of families now moving because we have good schools in Redbridge. Um, some parts of Redbridge, um, in, in my own constituency, in Chadwell Heath in particular, mm -hmm. but also in Albrough Ward in Ilford North, you notice um, quite a large number of people who've bought houses there because right. they, they want their children to do mm. well and some of them have moved from Tower Hamlets right. um, and they move out to a few miles to, to live in Ilford and uh, mm. Chadwell Heath. Right. Um, I'm keen to know about your childhood and the way you grew up in, in okay. that area. Well uh, my, my dad was a postman mm -hmm. and my mum worked in a shop. I come from a working class family. Right. Uh, I went to uh, a primary school in uh, Hainault, uh, mm -hmm. Manford Primary, and then I, we had the 11 plus, and I passed the 11 plus. I went to Buckhurst Hill County High School for boys, okay. which is no longer there, but the school is now the Guru Gobind Ki uh, Singh uh, Khalsa College on okay. Roding Lane, uh, Chigwell. And then I, I got a scholarship on my A-levels a uh, to go to Cambridge University. Okay. What did you study there? Economics. Okay. But I spent most of my time as a student politician. I'm afraid I, I worked really hard okay. to in, in, in my final year, but mm -hmm. a lot of my time I was campaigning for the Labour Party and also I became Secretary of the Student Union and then mm -hmm. the Chair of the National Organisation of Labour Students. Right. Uh, being um, the Member of the Parliament, you have played some key roles uh, for the Parliamentary Standing Committee. Uh, yeah, I've been, um, in my time in Parliament, I've been uh, on the Foreign Affairs Committee mm -hmm. and in the 2005 to 10 Parliament, I, I've been still a member of that committee, but mm -hmm. in the previous Parliament, uh, sorry, the 2005 to 10, I was chairman. Okay. Um, and uh, I, I um, also have been in the past on the Defence Committee mm -hmm. and uh, I've also served as a parliamentary private secretary in the Northern Ireland office for two okay. years when we got the agreement that mm -hmm. led to the ending of the conflict, the Good Friday Agreement. Right. I was part of the negotiations. Okay. And then uh, the, I was in the Home Office for a year when David Blunkett was the Home Secretary okay. and that was after 9-11 and we had to deal with all the difficult things about anti-terrorist issues and mm -hmm. complicated uh, legislation at that time. So. Throughout your political journey, you have worked with a number of uh, labor leaders. Yes. Who do you think is most dynamic? That's a very difficult question to answer. Uh, the, the labor leaders I've known well um, are Neil Kinnock, okay. uh, Michael Foote before mm -hmm. him, um, I met Harold Wilson, but at that point he was a very frail, elderly man. Okay. And I've met, I I I I met, met uh, Jim Callaghan. Okay. But I also, but most of my time in Parliament has been, uh, well, sadly, John Smith, who was a very short-term leader, who mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. and then uh, Tony Blair, mm -hmm. and then Gordon Brown, and now obviously Ed Miliband. I've dealt with lots of Labour leaders. Mm -hmm. I was very, very close when I, before I became an MP mm -hmm. with Neil Kinnock. I worked for Neil Kinnock when I, I worked in the Labour Party headquarters. Right. And Neil Kinnock saved the Labour Party. He brought us back mm -hmm. from a period where we were uh, facing uh, being forced to become the third party. He saved the Labour Party, he spent nine years, and he made it possible for Tony Blair's victory in 1997. A lot of the preparation for that was done by Neil Kinnock. Right. Okay, we need to take a short break, Mike. We have a short break, Mike. We have a big gap on the other side. We have a lot of people in Mike F's MP, who is the Ilford South MP, who is the 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 MP,